Do I regret studying actuarial science? I think it's fairly obvious that the overarching feeling of this video is going to be no. Given that I'm a fellow of the Casualty Actuarial Society, I work as an actuarial analyst, I make videos about being an actuary and becoming an actuary and all that actuary stuff, like I'm pretty all in in the actuarial profession. But I get questions from you guys all the time asking, does going into actuarial science limit my options? Am I better off just getting a math degree or an economics degree? And you may or may not have seen, but in the past I have made a video saying that I resent my university degree. That video was less about the university degree itself and more about the university process and all the prerequisite courses that you're required to take and all the nonsense and the red tape and ugh. I'm not gonna get into it, but like, if you want, you can you can watch it. So while I don't overall regret it, if I hadn't gone into actuarial science, I wouldn't have met the people I met, I wouldn't have done the things I've done, I wouldn't be the person I am today. But there are things that I didn't love, so let's talk about some pros and some cons. Thumbs it up if you're studying or considering studying or wanted to study actuarial science at some point in your life. Maybe, I don't know, let me know in the comments what you're studying. Okay, cool? Okay. The first big reason why I don't regret studying actuarial science is because it puts you in an environment full of other aspiring actuaries. And being around like-minded people is nothing to underestimate. If I were the only person that I knew who was writing actuarial exams, I don't think I could be as motivated as when I knew that this guy was writing and that guy was writing and oh, I can't fall behind because everyone else is writing. Like I gotta motivate, I gotta stay on top of the pack or else I'll just fall behind and never be an actuary. I don't know, like that's what I felt. So I just pushed myself a lot more. These people are also the actuaries of the future. Like they are my network. And I'm learning day in and day out how valuable having a network is how valuable it is to know who the right person to ask the right question to. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Is that the expression? Like, it's real. It's affecting my life. One thing in the regret column is that after the first couple exams, I started studying for the exams before I was taking the courses at university. And so while having courses that prepare you for the exams is something that really goes in the pro column at the beginning. Once I got ahead of them, it was really boring to take those classes. I would just sit there, bored out of my mind, being like, I already passed this exam, why am I doing this? I don't need this. I wish that there was some sort of a system that said, if you've already passed the actuarial exam, you can swap this course out for something else that's a little bit more practical and not just you relearning the material for the sake of relearning the material. In the pro column, I was part of the co-op program at my university. This program lit a fire under my butt to get internships. I don't know if I would or I wouldn't have if I hadn't been in the co-op program, but it definitely encouraged me to get internships and if you watched my last video about how I got my actuary job, internships were like a big, huge part of that. Being in an actuarial program also got me invites to actuarial networking events with working actuaries. Like that is some valuable networking experience that I got as a student. In the negative column, this might be specific to my school or maybe it's true for your school too, but my school did not offer practical university courses. I've been saying actuarial science, but at my school it was actually called actuarial mathematics. Their theory was, we're gonna prepare you for the prelims, you're gonna take a lot of math courses, and then if you want practical experience, you go in the co-op. Now while this works in theory, I feel like I wish I had a course that taught me something practical. And I see people graduating from other universities, from actuarial science degrees, that they come out and they actually know real things beyond just pure math. Like how many classes about proofs did I have to take I don't know how many times do I use proofs of whatever, I don't even remember the proofs, I don't know why I learned so many proofs, like, teach it to me once, I don't need so many courses about proofs. It wasn't useful to me. And tying in with the resenting video, because there is so much red tape, because they start you off with so many actuarial courses and math courses at the beginning, you don't have time to take the prerequisite courses, to take some interesting courses that could be real, like, good compliments to your program. At my school, the only compliment that they recommended was finance, and I don't really have a passion for finance. Like, I would have loved to compliment it with computer science. It wasn't presented to me early enough, and when I thought of the idea, like, I would have just had to extend my degree, and it wasn't worth it, so, you know, I learned programming on my own, and that's good for me, but I don't know, I just, I wish I had more options in the courses that I took. But 
A good thing about the degree is that you're targeting a career from the get-go. I have so many friends who got a generic degree. There are so many things that you can do with those degrees that you don't know where to go after university. And I see them sort of being a little lost, trying to figure themselves out. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with self-discovery. And there's nothing wrong with not knowing when you're 18 what you want to do with the rest of your life. But if being an actuary is something that you want to do, I say target it. I say make a commitment. And if you decide you don't like it, you can switch degrees. If you get an actuarial science degree, you can get a non-actuarial job. Like, you're not limited by this degree in my opinion. I have developed so many transferable skills in my almost three years working as an actuary that I just cannot see it as being a limiting profession. Maybe it's because I work for an insurance company, but I see actuaries all over the company, in management, in upper management, like knowing how to work with data, having analytical skills, like these are the things that are driving the future. I hope this answered someone's question. Do you have any concerns about university? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more of my face. I put out new videos with a certain frequency that I have not yet determined, but if you want to let me know with what frequency you want to see videos, you can let me know in the comments down below. Also, I love you guys. Thank you for calling. Bye!